Bring the weight of expectations this season. So last year, as we went on to our championship, no one had been expecting that. So we played freely, played light. This year, we feel those expectations, so it's a different challenge. But tense moments down the stretch here, and she and Flaugé Johnson, the players who did it last year, have answered the bell. Well, think about it. They've also gotten used to playing with the weight of those expectations. So here in a sweet 16 game in a sold out arena, it's a moment that they can be a little more comfortable with. And Flaugé Johnson, man, every single time they've needed her to make the right decision she has and to finish and to do things on the defensive end as well. And Angel Reese telling the crowd, yeah, get into it. Angel Reese and this LSU program with a massive following here in Albany, a massive following around the nation. And they are 39 seconds away from heading to the Elite Eight where they will meet either Iowa or Colorado. That game up next. And Rebecca, UCLA led this game 67-64 with 2.46 to go. But Kim Mulkey's LSU team on an 8-1 run since. And Certainly. that was LSU's final timeout. LSU with the basketball, about a nine second difference game in shot clock. So how do you play this defensively if you're UCLA? You foul and Van Lith is gonna go to the line. Van Lith, one of eight from the floor, one of two from the strike. We know when these regions came out, many had an eye towards a potential rematch between LSU and Iowa. LSU 36 seconds away from punching their ticket to the Elite Eight. Colorado stands in the way of Iowa next. Still time for UCLA as Van Lith hits both. And the lead is six for LSU, UCLA timeout. Ellie Van Lith's dad gives the fist bump. UCLA with one timeout remaining. Both teams in the bonus. LSU on a 10-1 run here, and they have hit their free throws down the stretch. So important here for UCLA on the offensive end to get something quick. It doesn't have to be a three, it can be a two, but you need to let as little time as possible run off this clock. UCLA on the day, seven of 29 from deep, but they started this game one for 16. They do not have Kiki Rice, who would have been one of the options from three in this situation. Haquez, Dugalich, Osborne, Jones, and Betts, the five on the floor for UCLA. Here is Dugalich. Osborne finds Betts, deep catch, and a foul on Reese. And that is going to be her fifth. So Angel Reese fouls out. And Betts will shoot two free throws. Corey Close is furious because Angel Reese said something to her and the bench as she was walking by. And you see Corey Close now talking to the official about it. And Corey Close, one of the things she talked about to us before the game is taunting and saying she would put that bug in the officials' ears about taunting and the difference between celebrating, reacting versus taunting. But no whistle there has Close upset. Betts, meanwhile, Misses the second free throw again. Loose ball, though, and we can have a foul or a hell ball. Should it be will foul. be a foul, yes. And so Flaugé Johnson will go to the line to shoot two.
Yeah, as soon as Suarez, it's clear that she has possession. You have to foul her there and credit her for handling it well. She stands up quickly and then just walks to the end of the floor. Suarez, seven of eight from the line today. 23 points. You talked about just the poise she has played with all game. And hits another free throw. Angel Rees fouled out. She's had to navigate foul trouble throughout this game. But another double-double for her as Johnson misses the second free throw. Still a game here. Osborne trying to find an angle. Jones will fire a three. Can't hit. Dugalich gets blocked from behind by Johnson. LSU has it, and that should just about do it with 12.7 to go. Flaugier Johnson, another block. Block, steals, big buckets, big free throws. Huge game for Johnson. Anissa Moore with a big game as well. Misses the first free throw. We said it at the half, though. Flaugier Johnson was the best player on the floor, and that's how this game is going to end as well. She has been the best player on the floor. How about 12 rebounds for the point guard to go with her 24 points as Morrow makes the second free throw. Timeout taken by UCLA, their final timeout. And time now for our Capital One rewarding performance. The returning champions from the starting lineup, Flaugier Johnson and Angel Reese. Just incredibly impactful performances by both young women and Flaugier Johnson from the beginning of this game, hitting threes, getting inside, defending as well. And Angel Reese just doing what Angel Reese does, and that's be relentless on the glass, relentless in the paint, showing emotion, leading her team. 16 points, 11 rebounds for Reese. 24 points, 12 rebounds for Johnson. Reese has fouled out. Iowa, Colorado coming up next here on ABC. The winner of that game will play the winner of this game Monday night on ESPN. Jones was open. Instead, it's Dugalich in the corner. No. Rebound Van Lith. Van Lith escapes, and a foul is given with 6.6 to go in this fourth quarter. Flaugier Johnson asking for the crowd. <laughs> and receiving it. <laughs> Saying, wait, I need a little. Okay, that's good. It's like she's in the studio and asking for a little more something, something. All right, we're good now. I need a little more bass in the headset. Exactly right. Yeah. Come on, I need a. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's <laughs> it. All right. Van Lith hits both. Osborne will take it across. Dugalich is three. The defending champs are not done yet. LSU is headed to the Elite Eight. 78-69 the final as the Tiger Tigers advance to the 10th Elite Eight in program history. And UCLA, who had a lead with under three minutes to go, falls short as LSU finishes this game on a 14-2 run. LSU just with great experience and toughness in the moment. And we know they've dealt with a lot all season long, been able to overcome adversity time and again, and in a game, within a game, the adversity that you face. The fourth quarter was terrific. Flaugier Johnson the entire game just leading the way for LSU. Big hug from Lauren Betts and Angel Reese. Holly detailed that story for us, and 
playing together on Team USA, practicing against each other every day, and Angel and Flage are with Holly Rowe. Well, it took everything from both of you. You combined for 40 points, 23 rebounds. How hard was it to get this win? This is a good UCLA team. Man, I mean, we, they, Coach Bob told us before the game, no rebounds, no rings, and we knew we had to rebound. Lauren Best is a great player. Playing with her this summer was amazing. So being able to be composed and dominant this game was important. Speaking of being dominant, Flage, your offense has taken such a huge step this year. How have you become a primetime player? I've been focused. I've been in the gym. I've been locked in. Every day I'm in the gym putting in reps. Every day. Because I know people are going to discredit me because I rap and I hoop. So I know i got to go extra hard. So that's what I do. I be in the gym. She does rap. Her new single is It Ain't My Fault. But yeah. today this win was your fault. It's our fault. It is our fault. Get out your feelings. Get a bag. <laughs> All right, Holly. Yeah, it was indeed Flage Johnson's fault. Just an incredible performance from Flage, offensively, defensively, and on the glass. LSU, the defending champs, take down UCLA, and they await the winner of our next game on ABC. Colorado facing Caitlin Clark and Iowa.